everyone. I just had a meeting with someone who I've never really worked with before. She's on a different project than me, but she needed my help with something. So I met with her for the first time, first time I've really talked to her and she was so nice and so like positive and it just put me in the best mood. I was l not looking forward to the meeting because it was in the morning and you know, morning meetings are just always such a drag, but her attitude put me in such a good mood and I really appreciate that, I gotta say. Also, now that I'm talking about it, there's actually been something work-related that I've been meaning to tell you guys about. There is this guy who I work with and I've been working very closely with him for basically all of 2021, so 10 months at least. And we work, like I said, closely. We have at least one meeting together every single week. We talk almost on a daily basis, at least, you know, a few times a week one-on-one. -on -one. And he never calls me by the correct name. Almost never. He calls me Catherine, which I do understand because my screen name at work is Catherine. So that one I totally get. I sign all my emails Katie though. He's in so many meetings with me. Everyone else in the meetings call me Katie. He has asked me multiple times what I go by and I have told him that I go by Katie. He calls me Kathy, Kate, Catherine, anything but Katie. And like I said, I understand Catherine. I'd be fine with Catherine, except for the fact that he's asked me multiple times what I go by and I've told him what I go by. I sign all my emails the same way as Katie and he still does not seem to get it which I don't understand I've stopped trying to correct him because at this point it's just ridiculous but yeah I've been meaning to kind of rant about that to you guys because I just find it totally insane if someone introduces themselves to you one way why would you not address them that way? Or if they sign an email one way, why would you address them as something else unless it's like their full name? That I get, but anything other than that? Kathy, where is that coming from? I have never gone by Kathy in my entire life. Anyways, uh, that was kind of out of nowhere. I've been working all morning long. I think I'm about to go on a little walk with Murphy and still in a good mood from that meeting even though I was just ranting a little bit so should be a good day I think also can you tell Scott rearranged some of the gourds let's see do I need a jacket today Murphy 68 degrees out can you believe it no jacket today all right let's go oh, okay our little walk around the neighborhood was good we have so many like older people that live around us and you know when you go on a walk in the middle of the day those are really the only people around and they all love to chat so much and like pet murphy and give him treats there was a woman today who stopped us and like wanted to give murphy some treats and was talking about i don't know all of this different stuff and i, I was just you know entertaining like you know chatting with her a little bit and then we continued walking but it was very nice. And then we got back and had some packages. So I was gonna open these. I think this one is some stamps. Very exciting. Yeah. So we got some, some stamps. I got some Halloween ones and Santa ones, lighthouses, we just ran out of stamps. And Scott's been getting um, postcards to send to his grandma whenever he's been traveling. So like when he was in Denmark, he got one. He got some while we were in Scotland. So needed some more stamps so that he could send those to her. And then I got some new jewelry. Packaged very well. These like all fell out of their little bags but I got this really pretty gold necklace I'll probably try it on later but it's just a thin little you know dainty gold necklace and then I also got 
and then the other one that I got is this little pearl bar on another just very simple gold chain just very dainty I was just looking at jewelry the other day and I saw these and I thought they were really pretty and I have some weddings to go to coming up so I thought why not treat myself get some new accessories that I can wear to these weddings and yeah so that's my little that's my little haul for you guys today all right, I did a workout, a nice upper body session, showered, put on my new necklaces. I really like them. And now I'm about to make myself a protein smoothie. But earlier today, I asked a question on my Instagram. I asked people how much sleep they get each night, if it's seven or fewer hours, or if they get more than seven hours of sleep. Because recently, in the mornings I've been waking up and usually I'll wake up and I'll just wake up the one time and then I'll be up and ready to go but recently the past couple days I've been waking up and then falling back to sleep and just not wanting to get out of bed and I don't know if it's like because the sun is rising later and it's still kind of dark out when I get up or if now that I've been working out regularly for a few weeks, if that's catching up to me, or I have no idea what it is, but I always get like a solid nine hours of sleep every single night. And recently, even though I'm still getting my nine hours, still been pretty tired. So it made me kind of curious and I wanted to check and see where that poll is at. Interesting, so it's, right now it's a, uh, that's not right. It's showing up as, okay, there we go. 69% is saying seven hours or less, and 31% is saying more than seven hours, which I don't know how people can function on even seven hours of sleep. I feel like at the very least, I try to get eight hours. Maybe it's because I don't drink caffeine, but I don't know. I'm curious. How many hours of sleep do you guys get every night? Answer that down below. I'm going to make myself a smoothie. has been a few hours. I actually just finished working. Scott is on his way home from work. He's running a few errands and then he should be here soon. And I'm pretty excited because in a little bit, my mom is going to be touring a wedding venue for us back home and she's gonna FaceTime us during it so that we can see it and get kind of the full picture. We've looked into it a lot online and we, we've liked the pictures that we've seen. We've gone back and forth with the people that work there and it seems really nice. So I'm excited for her to see it in person and let us know if it's as nice as it seems and see it virtually through her and get a tour and all that. So really looking forward to that. Any sort of wedding talk, I am just all for right now. I could go on for ages. I try not to talk Scott's ear off too much about the wedding planning because like I said, I just wanna jump in head first and do everything and like make it the best night ever and I know that he does too but he probably doesn't care quite as much as I do or he he doesn't find it as fun to talk about it I could go on and on for hours but anyways very much looking forward to that and I will let you guys know how that goes hopefully hopefully it's good <laughs> It is the next morning now. We did the venue tour last night and it was really good. We really liked it. But then I had a little bit of a breakdown afterwards, which is why I didn't film anything else. I just got really overwhelmed. It's kind of hard looking for a venue when you're so far away from where you're looking and you have to see everything virtually. And I just feel like 
when you reach out to places, it takes a while for them to get back to you and then you ask questions. And by the time you figure out you either really like the place or you wanna move on, so much time has passed, things get booked up really quickly. So we keep finding venues that we like or we think we like and I keep picturing what our wedding would look like there and getting really excited. And then we finally go on the tour and find something wrong or the date that we were looking at gets booked up or something's just not right. So it's just been kind of a lot. And that's not to say that we didn't like the venue that we saw yesterday because we really did, but it's just been getting a little bit overwhelming, I think. So I just had a little bit of a breakdown. So didn't film anything else yesterday. And I'm sorry for this abrupt ending, but I appreciate you all for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want to see more from me. I post new videos every three days. You can also give me a follow on Instagram for more day-to-day -day content. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.